after Lima and Machu Picchu, our next stop was Cusco, which was already 4,000 meters above sea level. It was nighttime, and there was a big parade right outside our hotel. So we went in and joined for a second. So we could already start feeling the pressure and we needed to drink some extra coca tea. It was so hard to skate. After each try, you're just out of breath. I can't even talk to anyone because you're just trying to catch up with being so high up in the mountains. And it's just slower, you know, it just takes more time. But it's still fun and it's still, you can still skate up here. The good thing about Puno, the next city, was that we ran into some local skaters. And not surprisingly, they knew Angelo and were like fanning out, being super stoked to see him. And I guess not many professional skateboarders come to town. It's always nice to meet with the locals and skate together. And it was a good time. The Titicaca Lake, which is between Peru and Bolivia, it was the highest lake in the world that you could sail ships on. The Uros, the floating islands that are made of totora, 
is a plant that grows on the surface of the lake and the local people use it to keep afloat and they have to keep adding to Torah every month that, so the island wouldn't sink. They've been living there since 60 years now. Before that, they were living on boats and they would cook their meals and sleep on the boats for, they said, 500 years. Avoiding conflict with other neighboring cities and civilizations and nobody's ever been able to really get them. That's why the Uros are still out there and we went and visited. I had no idea that La Paz is a city in between the mountains that is just so steep, the mountain, and it goes right through the middle of the city. It was shocking to just see, to just arrive to the edge of the mountain and seeing La Paz for the first time.